Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. During the break, uh, Jack Roser was talking about a prayer breakfast he was at, which yeah, inspired this whole this show last we're Sunday. doing today. Uh, it, it was uh, McHenry, up in McHenry County. There were uh, 600 uh, people at the breakfast. It was a big sellout. And uh, there was uh, the, uh, the Bishop of Rockford was there. There was another priest. There was uh, uh, a layperson, I imagine... Uh, Probably not Catholic, but uh, didn't come out. But uh, of course, uh, this was not just a Catholic prayer breakfast. This was mm -hmm. a whole bunch of mostly, uh, I'm sure, Christians that were in there. And uh, the big topic of the whole thing, a uh, big shock to me. I've gone to a lot of, a lot of uh, prayer breakfasts and uh, so forth, and uh, there's very little hookup of uh, the deity uh, that is an organized deity with uh, politics. Turned out. Boy, this one was hooked up all the way. And uh, the three prominent speakers uh, spoke to the sudden involvement of uh, the Catholic Church and Catholics everywhere uh, against uh, what uh, the president has been uh, uh, saying about uh, the right to life. He's finally just made it very plain that uh, he has uh, no sympathy with the Christian religion or the rights of the citizens out here. He's going to run the whole thing by fiat. Uh, with his many, uh, that's what it is when he issues his executive orders, one right after another. Uh, he's trying to organize things uh, from up there, and he doesn't like us bringing ideas contrary to him. Well, that finally galled certainly the Catholics enough to get up there and speak out soundly against uh, the, what he was saying about right to life. Now, Monsignor, mm -hmm. some Final thoughts for our listeners as a leader in the Catholic Church. What, what are some final thoughts here for the next couple minutes? Well, I guess I'd like to speak to my brother priests out there who may be listening, is that you were called by God, you were ordained by the Lord to make a difference amongst all God's people. And it's always been the leadership of uh, different faith communities that have established an environment of goodness in our country as Americans. And we've let that slip through our fingers because we're scared to speak out on certain issues, and most specifically about the sanctity of human life from conception to a natural death. So I'd like to tell my brother priests that more, maybe more than at any point in the time of our existence as American Catholics, our priests must speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves, and those are those innocents in the womb. And this is a critical time. It's a time which will affect our faith, our, our religious institutions could be shut down if, if we don't uh, speak up and if we don't get people energized mm. to make the right decision, which is to vote Barack Obama out of office. Uh, and it goes John? also uh, for the local thing because uh, uh, the Democrats have organized Chicago for eons with big help from the Catholic Church particularly. Mm. I'm a Catholic. I was born in Chicago, and I know wherever I speak. Not too long ago, uh, is that a fair? Wasn't uh, it was political, and uh, the cardinals spoke friendly about. Uh, and I think Cardinal George is a great guy. This isn't personal, but uh, he spoke favorably about uh, the people that were largely Democrat there. And uh, I think all of a sudden, uh, uh, the Catholic Church is no longer tied uh, in Chicago to the Republican. Party. To, uh, the Democrat Party. Democrat. We hope not. Yeah. Now, John, as a as an evangelical, non denominational pastor, mm -hmm. what what do you have to say to your fellow pastors? You know, pastors to the believer, and... Catholic or Protestant, to the people of the book, there is no separation between the sacred and the secular. You bring everything. You view everything through the eyes of God and through what he, his will is. And so when it comes to this election or any election, uh, whether you go into the voting booth or whether you're going door to door or knocking on doors, making phone calls, um, the, the important thing is not my will, but thy will be done with, 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 with every situation. Now, 34 some years ago this past Tuesday, Pope John Paul II was elected. Now, that's not a man who retreated from Mm. Uh, from public statements, uh, with, along with Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan, they virtually brought down the Iron Curtain. But 67 years ago this past Friday, uh, a group of evangelical uh, preachers like me signed the Stuttgart Declaration of Guilt. And what it said was, we should have done more. <laughs> when the Nazis were rising up, we should have done more. 
I don't ever want to have to sign a document that, that is a declaration of my guilt. I know beforehand, and to my fellow pastors, I'd say, I much, I'd, much, uh, I'd much rather them consider the Manhattan Declaration, which brings together Jews, Catholics, and Christians, uh, evangelical Christians, and ends with this. We will fully and ungrudgingly render to Caesar what is Caesar's, but under no circumstances will we render to Caesar what is God's. Oh boy, that's powerful. Now, what about pastors that just, they know the truth, but they say they can't do this. They can't be talking political issues from the pulpit. They'll lose their 501c3 status. They're craven if they do that. Well, well, uh, Scripture speaks to those men as hirelings, not as true mm -hmm. shepherds, yes. and it's a strong indictment of them in Ezekiel 33 and 34. We're called to man the wall, and we're called to protect the flock. They can do this in, this in the freeness of this land, and it's free speech to say that. But you're entirely right. Uh, they've deserted principle. Michael? Well, I've, you know, I've been bold to tell pastors, if you don't stand up, you're going to end up having to be forced to marry Adam and Steve. Not but here's the thing. Obama <laughs> said a couple years ago, we are not a Christian nation. I speak to all my brothers and sisters out there. 2012, let's prove him wrong in this upcoming election. Thank <laughs> you.